Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to share three different designs using the same die and in all of my designs I will be using distress oxide inks in different techniques. So I will be playing with this large outline thanks die, this is from the latest release by Simon's stamp from their December release and uh, actually this is part of a blog hop as we celebrate this release make sure to go to my blog you will find links there to lots of inspiration and giveaways so here's how the die looks I used white cardstock to cut out everything and this is what you get now by running it just once you get all those spaces so you get this negative you get the outline of all the letters and of course you get the big bold letters that you can use. Today I will be using everything that I cut out here in three different card designs. But of course you can mix and match them and there are so many different uh, designs that you can come up with. So for example you can cut out everything from different colored cardstock and then put everything back together with the inlay technique. But this time it would be super colorful. Anyway I will continue and create three cards and for today I decided to use my Distress Oxide inks and I will be working with this Distress Mixed Media cardstock. This cardstock is by Ranger and uh, it is a slightly off-white and it takes Distress Oxide inks beautifully. So for the first technique I'm going to do some inking. For that I'm using three different shades of Distress Oxides. I'm starting with Seedless Preserves, this is Abandoned Coral and I will end up with Tartar Rose. For all my cards today I will be using Distress Oxides both in inks and in the form of sprays and I will be using different techniques for my backgrounds. So now I've finished blending here, I just want to make sure that uh, as the two colors meet they have a lovely blending without any harsh lines. It looks beautiful as it is but if you love the look of splashes then you can add some water and then leave it for a few uh, seconds to react with the ink underneath and then blot it with some paper towel. So here I have a lovely background and you can repeat the same process with your favorite color combination and then all you have to do is to just stick the letters on top. Now for sticking down the letters I have the negative here which I'm not going to use but I am using it as a template so that I can place the letters inside. At the back of the letters I have uh, tiny little uh, foam squares so that I can add some dimension on my card. I'm using some white glue at the back and I'm going to stick that on my card base, that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And to finish off my card I'm going to add a secondary sentiment, this comes from the You Got This stamp set, I love this because it's packed with sentiments in a teeny tiny font. I have uh, stamped and embossed it with white ink and cut it out in a thin black strip and I'm going to stick it there. And lately I am kind of obsessed with uh, gems and I just have to stick them everywhere. So I'm using the pink ones from this set, this is by Pink Fresh Studio. And you will find everything I'm using linked down below just like always. I'm going to add some dots of glue here and there and then stick those gems on top. Here are some close-up photos on the first card for today and imagine that you can do any color combo for the background. Now for the next one I will be using the, the negative. And uh, this time I'm going for a shaker card, so I'm adding double sided tape all around this piece. I'm going to peel off the packing and then stick on top a piece of acetate. I have a large letter size acetate here, so I'm going to stick it there and cut out the excess with my scissors. But of course remember that you can use leftovers from packaging, which is something that I do all the time, but somehow I couldn't find any leftovers. So now I will create the background for my window, for that I'm working again on a mixed media cardstock, Distress mixed media cardstock and I will work with my Distress Oxide sprays. I started by applying uh, water on my paper to make sure that it is nice and wet and then on top I'm using two colors, that's Spiced Marmalade and Picked Raspberry. I'm going to use my heat gun and make sure that the first layer is completely dry and then I will go ahead and do a second layer. Now just because I have a lot of water there you will see that this is going to give that uh, chalky finish look 
and it's not going to dry as uh, vibrant as you see it now. If you want to have super vibrant colors, then you can use your, dist your original distress sprays, which are not going to give that chalky look when they react with water. Now, you can see that with the sprays I got this look as if I did ink blending, but it was super quick to make and uh, the sprays blend on their own, so you don't have to fight with your blending tools and make sure that you don't have any harsh lines or any splotches here and there. Now you can see the back of my window, I have added some foam tape all around the border and um, now I am going to bring in some uh, sequins. This is by Studio Katia and it is called uh, Majestic Confetti. You will find it linked below. So now I'm going to peel off the bagging from my foam tape and stick it on top. Now my background is slightly bigger so I end up having a border. But if you want you can make it exactly the same size as the top panel. So it's time to put my card together. I'm using white glue at the back. I'm going to stick it on top of a standard card. That's four and a quarter by five and a half. And as you can see, I finished off the sentiment by adding a secondary one. Again, a teeny tiny one from You Got This stamp set that I white embossed on black cardstock. And here are some close up photos. And let's move on to the last card for today. Again, I'm using my Distressed Mixed Media cardstock. And this time I'm going with the smooshing technique where I'm going to apply some ink on my uh, non stick mat here. I'm going to apply some water and then smooth my paper on top. The colors that I'm using here are Peacock Feathers and Twisted Citron, a combination that I absolutely love. And as you can see I didn't apply too much ink on my craft mat just because I didn't want it to cover up completely the whole panel. I just want to have uh, some concentrated uh, color at the mainly at the center. Now I'm going to make sure that this is dry and I will repeat the process to add even more color. I'm not introducing any new colors, I'm just repeating the same process one more time. And although this technique looks quite random, you can still control how much of uh, one color you have on your paper. So here I went back and added only Twisted Citron at the bottom mainly and I was super happy with the outcome. A lovely abstract background for a very artistic look. Now this panel is four and a quarter by five and a half, so I am cutting out uh, about two quarters from each dimension. And this time I will use the outlines of the letters. Now I went ahead and cut out the word thanks one more time from black cardstock and I'm going to stick white on top of black, slightly offset, so it's going to give a little bit of shadow. To do that I'm using my Zaron sticker maker. I think this is the easiest and quickest method to stick those skinny letters one on top of the other. But of course you can use a glue pen or your uh, white glue, whatever works. So each time I'm going to peel a letter and stick it on top of the black one, making sure that it is slightly offset. And of course Ginger was making sure that I did everything correctly. So hopefully you can see here the shadow, the black shadow that I end up having underneath the letter. And I will repeat the same thing for all the letters. It's kind of um, time consuming but it's worth it. You will see that uh, that shadow really helps those letters to stand out in the finished project. Now I'm going to play around with all those letters and try to decide where everything is going to go. Since I have such an abstract background, I don't want to have neatly placed the letters. So these are going to be kind of um, offset and overlapping one another. Since I am going for a more artistic look on this card. This time I'm using my white Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back. But of course I could have used my sticker maker, I just didn't think about it at that point. And since I have that black shadow to bring everything together, I'm going to mat this panel with a piece of black cardstock. By the way, I never create black card bases. I always use a black mat and then I'm just going to stick the whole thing on top of a pre-folded standard card, that it is white, so I can easily write my message inside. And uh, again I need to add some blink, this time I'm using March Crystals and August Crystals by Studio Katia. And here is the finished look. 
and I think this is probably my favorite out of the three cards that I shared today. Let me know in the comments which one is yours. So here are all the three cards that I made using the bold letters, the negative space and the skinny outlines using one die and my Distress Oxides. And these were the projects for today. Don't forget, down below you will find a link to my blog. There are lots of giveaways along the blog hub. You will also find a list of all the supplies that I used. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time.